What's up guys, it's Scrappy here and I'm going to show you how to use Wiimod and the command console in Sons of the Forest. I made a video on how to go about getting Wiimod, which is linked in the description below, but in this video it's all about how to go about using it while playing Sons of the Forest. If you don't know what Wiimod is, it's a modding software that lets you mod games and adds the ability to let you control what you do in the game. Some might think that you need to get Pro in order to use the software, which is a monthly subscription of some odd dollars, but you can actually use this for free. And I I will show you how to go about using the Wii mod both pro and for free. Before we begin, I do want to mention that I know that this is not for everyone, as everyone has their own way of playing, and I do not recommend joining multiplayer lobbies and using these mods unless you plan to with your friends, because you can be banned by the server's host, and I never encourage anyone to use this to grief or ruin other players' games or gameplay experience. I also recommend to play the game in its entirety and beat the game before using this. That way you can get the full experience of Sons of the Forest before making it too easy. So without further delay, let's get into it. So once you have Wiimod installed, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you start Sons of the Force from the Wiimod application. This starts the game from Steam, but also enables the Wiimod application. And if you don't do this, the Wiimod application might not work. Once you are in Sons of the Force, boot up a save game or start a brand new one. Now, this is for the people who are using the menu or the pro version. I'll go over the free version next. But once you are in the game, just alt tab and pull up the Wiimod application. If you use this on your phone or through the Xbox Game Bar shortcut, you can do the same. Once the application and menu are pulled up, you'll see that you can toggle things on and off. This is fairly simple, but just to explain further, if you want any of these, like infinite health, stamina hydration, fullness, temperature, strength, lung capacity, restfulness, no fall damage, invisibility, breakable armor, being immune to fire, all you need to do is toggle them on. When it comes to setting damage multiplier, this just means how much damage you're going to put out. So if I set this to two, I'll do double the damage. You need to make sure you click set in order for it to work. Now below this, you will see no item limit. This changes the maximum amount of an item you can take. Once you toggle this on, if you want to change the amount of an item, for example, these stones, you have to hover your mouse over it and keep it there. Once you do so, if you open up the mod menu, you'll see how many you have in set last hovered item amount. Now you just need to change the value of how many you want by just clicking the plus sign or the minus sign. And once you're finished, you just click set. And then when you alt tab or go back to Sons of the Forest, you'll see that the item value changed. Unlimited ammo is easy. If you toggle this on, you'll just have unlimited ammo for your guns. And before we begin or get into the command console, I'm gonna finish the list of items you could toggle. So we have infinite fuel, infinite flashlight, so your battery will never go out, infinite printer resin, and no building requirements. So for no building requirements, this means you can instantly build a selected item from the build guidebook. Like right here, I can build a cabin or whatever you want. For build anywhere, this allows you to build on and in places you normally cannot build. For example, if we go over to the ocean, normally I want to be able to place this cabin down. Once I toggle build anywhere, it's going to let me. Back to the menu, you'll see one hit cut trees, which will just allow you to one tap a tree with an ax and the tree will fall down. And then you have stop time. If you toggle this, it will stop the sun. Things will still move around and such in the game, but the sun stops moving. Fast 3D printers print stuff out quicker and set time speed multiplier means how fast the sun moves. So if we double this, time moves into time speed. If you mess with game speed, for example, if you set it to two or three or whatever you want, that will double the game speed. For example, Kevlin would be on two times, three times speed. Now below this is infinite jumps. If you toggle this on and go back to your game, you can keep clicking your jump button and your guy will continuously jump, basically giving you the ability to fly around in the game. Make sure you have no fall damage on if you do this, otherwise you will fall to your death. So now after this, you'll see walking speed, running, swimming, jump height multiplier. Whatever you set these values to, your guy will walk, run, or swim faster and or jump higher. Now I'm going to go over how to use these one click menu mods in the free version. Then we will go over console commands. Now, when you set up a free account in Wiimod, it won't allow you to use the menu feature and other features, but it will allow you to still use the mods. You'll just have to assign these mods to a hotkey. So if you have the free version, just pick and choose what you want to set for your hotkeys. For an example, if I assign my sprinting speed modifier to my mouse buttons, once I'm in game and press the hotkeys, you'll hear a notification. That means it's been activated. Now, if you alt tab and look at the application, you'll see that the value has been increased. But if you look to the right of where you set 
at your hotkey, you will see a down arrow and an up arrow. That's for other key bindings to turn the values up and turn them down. So now when you press your key binding to increase the value in game, you'll hear a notification. And then when you press to decrease the value, you'll hear a different tone notification. It's as simple as that when it comes to using the free version. If you skipped ahead to this point to understand what things do what, I highly suggest watching that video from the start as I go over the mod menu. Now let's talk about the console command. In order to activate console command, you need to toggle it on. You can either use a hotkey or just turn it on, but you need to enter your saved game first. This is important. Once you're in game and playing, then you can toggle the debug console on. And then once it's activated and on, all you need to do is press F1 to open up the console command. From here, you'll be able to spawn in items, change the weather and do all sorts of things. I can't walk you through it all because we'll be here all day, but I can walk you through some of the most asked about features in my comment section. So let's go over the biggest thing here. All commands require on and off after them. And if you're spawning items in, you're going to need to know the item codes. Down in the description below, I compiled a list of all the item codes I could find and put it on a PDF file for you to download for free. So the biggest question I've been seeing is how to use the command console, how to get infinite logs, how to spawn in an army of Kelvins. So let's go over that and more. So if you want to turn on infinite logs, all you have to do is type in log hack space on. You want to make sure you put on after you type in the command or else it won't work. And as you can see here, we have infinite logs. To turn it off, what you're going to want to do is type in the command again, log hack space off enter. And now, and now you don't have that command anymore. Now, if we open up the console again, we can actually set the time of day and values between hour zero and 24. So if I put set time of day space 12 space on, it will set the time of day to 12 o'clock. So now if we open up the command console and we want to spawn an item, we would type in spawn item space the item code, which in this case, I'm going to spawn in logs. That would be 78 space how many 20 space on click enter and bam. Now we have 20 logs that we just spawned. Let's type in add character. So if we want to add a uh, army of Kelvins, uh, we just type in add character space. His code is Robbie space. How many of him right in this instance, I just give him a twin space on click enter and I'll spawn him in. So now he has a twin brother to hang out with. Now, if we open it up again, we can actually clear all these clouds up there by just typing in cloud enable space off. Um, but let's do that. I let's do that one more time. Cloud enable space off click enter all the clouds are removed. So now you have it's nice and bright and sunny. And you don't have any cloud shadows above you. Now, if we open up the command console, we can actually get rid of the UI by typing show UI space off. And if we want to re-enable it, all we have to do is open up the command console, type in show UI space on enter. Then we have the UI again. Now, if we open up the command console again and we type in kill radius space, the amount of meters, it's going to actually destroy and kill everything in that radius. Um, as you can see, our twin Kelvins are gone now. So, so say if you want to get rid of all the bodies, what you would do is open up the command console and type in remove dead space on, and that would eliminate all the dead bodies around the area. Now, if you want to add all items in the game, what you need to do is open up the command console. All you need to type is add all items space on, and that will get you every unlockable item, stack them to the highest value and place them in your inventory. So there we go. Now we have every single item and the max capacity of each, which you can set more by setting the amount in the software. But there we go. We have all the items. If there's anything in particular you're trying to do, ask down in the comments section and I'll try my best to respond and help you out. There's a lot that I don't know and a lot I haven't used yet as I've just been using Wii Mods to build cool structures and spawn in logs mostly. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And if you made it this far, thank you very much. And I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful night.